2018 Imperial TIE Fighter. Woohoo, Geo the Jedi. I am so excited that you picked this set out, guys. Geo the Jedi got a little bit of money in his pocket and he decided to go and pick up a new Star Wars set. And we're super happy because we did not pay full price for this. This is the one solo set that we have had our hearts set on, but we did not want to pay that $70 price. So we have been waiting to see it on sale and we finally scored it at Walmart for $56. Woohoo! For a Lego bargain. All right, boy, get into that thing. Ooh, I can't wait to see. What is in store for Bag us? number one. Bag number two. Bag number three. Bag number four. Ooh. Bag five. number three. Five bags. Boy, how do you count? One, two, three, four, three? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so five bags, a good big old instruction manual. Geo the Jedi, can we share the duty of putting this thing together? Hey! Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, shake on it. Can I do the first bag? Yes. All right, let's do it. First, let's check out these four minifigures that came with this set. Let's do that. I think that's a great idea. Let's start with this awesome dude on the left. It's a Mimban Stormtrooper, guys, and we will not be giving out any solo spoilers. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have already seen it, but we are not in the business of spoiling movies. So we will say that there was a lot of action going on on the planet of Mimban, and they had their own Stormtroopers, and we have one! Woohoo! Oh, man. We love Star Wars so much, so we want any Stormtrooper that they've got and just check out that amazing detail all over him. From helmet to toes. Look, Gio, they even have it on his toes. Whoa! That is so sweet, guys. We're so excited about him. Next up, we've got the Imperial Pilot. And look at that awesome getup he's got on. I love those helmets, Gio. Those are just some awesome helmets. I like the imperial signs that he's got on his helmet on the top. Great detail in his torso and legs. Now, next up, we've got Han Solo in his Mimban disguise. Check him out, check him out. If you haven't seen the movie, go see it, guys. I loved it better than The Last Jedi. So he's got great detail all the way through his body too. Looks excellent and I love that little helmet hat he's got on with the painted on goggle look there they've got on the top of that. And next up to Han, we've got good old Tobias Beckett in his Mimban disguise as well. So I'm sure you guys could guess why they're disguising themselves on the planet of Mimban. Of course, people disguise themselves when they don't want to be seen, or get shot, or even worse, killed. Right, Chio? Yes, Mommy Jedi. So let's check out the backs of them. Why don't we remove those heads? Not the heads. <laughs> don't behead them, Geo, please. Just remove their, ooh, look at, look at Han. Han is not happy. I love those capes. Check out the hooded detail that they have there, guys. These are our first ones that we've gotten with this great hooded detail in the back. I just love it. And of course, Stormtroopers never have any alternate faces. And as you saw, nobody had an alternate face except for Han. Yes, Geo the Jedi, what would you like to tell us? Boo! I hate that they always give the same face to every I single know. Stormtrooper. I know, that angry clone face, but you know, we're used to it. Us Star Wars fans had to get used to it in the Lego community. So it's okay, right? We can deal with it. Yeah. All right, so there are the four new amazing minifigures, guys. We're literally drooling over this set. We just love it so much. Now let's check out the Imperial TIE Fighter. First, let's check out a 360 view. Yeah, check out those wings, guys. Those are massive here. Let me put my hand up against it so you guys can grasp at really how big it is. So it's from the tip to a little bit up past my wrist for sure. 
but I will say guys I was a little worried about these wings not being sturdy but they are super duper sturdy so I'm not worried about them being super fragile now Gio has flown this thing all over the house he's removed those wings several times and they are really sturdy guys so in former TIE fighter sets I know that that was an issue with the wings not being very sturdy but with this solo movie version, they are super sturdy, guys. So now let's show you some stuff up close. Spin it, spin it, spin it. Woo, look at it going into action. So why don't we show them this cockpit, Geo? So as you guys can see, it's got that opening hatch in the front, but that's not the only way to get in. Check it out, check it out. They have made two ways to get in this, which I thought was pretty darn awesome. And look at how the minifigure actually is held in there by this piece right here, guys. Look, he just topples out because look down there. There's nothing to actually put him into. There's no Lego pegs down there for him to be pushed into to sit. So they cleverly gave us this awesome little maybe look like steering panel with this on the other side that holds him in place when he's in there. And then if you guys can see here, it's got a clip on this side for his pistol. And there's actually another clip on this side if he wants to put another pistol in there. So that is that awesome hatch we've got on top and this cool cockpit opening here. And everything you guys see in this set is all printed pieces. None of this is stickers. Woohoo! Right, Gio? Nothing came with stickers, did it? Uh-huh. Did my memory forget? No, I'm right. This is a printed piece. Woohoo! And back here, ooh, Gio the Jedi, are you ready to blast those flick fire missiles off at us? I was hoping you will get ready for that. I thought you'd say that. Okay, Gio, I want you to blast them right at the camera. Hold on, let's let's angle it up towards me. Ready, set, go. Ooh, you got me in the face, Matt. Ooh, you got me in the throat. Gio the Jedi, how do you always manage hurting me <laughs> instead of blasting the camera? You're doing that on purpose, aren't you? No. Ah, good thing you said no. Okay, so Gio, let's actually show them how that wing pops off. Let's show them how it attaches. So there's a little clip right there. Look at that, guys. Side. How easy is that? So you see those four little rods right there, and you see right here, there's those four little hooks. They simply just attach easily. Just push it together, you'll hear a little click, and it is in there. So that is pretty much, I mean, those are all the play features that this thing comes with, but it's just massive, guys. Let's just show you all around it. So there's the bottom. It was a really fun build that Gio and I got to share together. And it was really weird because when we were counting the bags in the beginning of this video, Gio counted one, two, three, four, three. And I was like, I thought Gio forgot how to count. But he was right. When we got into building this, the bags were really numbered that way. There was a bag number one, a bag number two, two number three bags, and then a number four bag, which I thought was weird. I was wondering, do you think if it was a misprint on the bag or if that's yeah. how all the sets came? So if anybody else has this set, let us know. Were your bags numbered that same exact way? I'm just curious to know if we got a misprint. Which would be cool because I love getting misprinted stuff from Lego. What about you, Geo the Jedi? Yeah, sometimes it's kind of funny because they accidentally print the wrong thing that yes. they're not supposed to. Yes, yes, that is true. So, Geo the Jedi, what? do you absolutely love this thing or do you hate it? I love this thing. Are you excited that I'm going to let you play with it all the time now because we're finally getting the review over? Yes, Mommy Jedi. <laughs> you guys, I was on Geo the Jedi about this thing. He kept flying it around. I'm like, you better not drop it. You're going to break it. Now we're going to have to put it all back together again. <laughs> Dude, pretty awesome. I'm so glad that you picked this out when you had some money in your pocket. Hey, you still have 30 bucks left to spend. I wonder what you're going to buy next. I wonder. I wonder. Woo! 
All right, guys, so let us know what you guys think about this amazing Lego Star Wars, the solo movie version of the Imperial TIE Fighter. If you know anything about any of the TIE Fighters, let us know what you think this one. You know, how does it hold up against all the other ones that Lego has made? I think it's pretty rad. Let's just look at this real quick. I really loved building these wings. So Gio built one and I built the other one. They were really fun builds, guys. Everything about it was fun. It wasn't boring. It wasn't the same thing over and over again. They really used a lot of cool pieces to make this cockpit circular. It was really a fun build. Wake up! Am I talking too much, Gio? That's how, wake up, wake up! You know I get super excited when we have new Star Wars sets. I know, Mommy Jedi. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the Hey, bell. I'm already subscribed, Gio. Oh wait, you're not talking to me, are you? No. Oh, oh, okay. Well, can I say goodbye to Team Jedi? Yeah. Bye, Team Jedi. Thank you so much for watching our review of this awesome set that I am over the moon about having. You know what I really want to do, Gio? I want to attach this thing to a string and like hang it from your ceiling in your bedroom and display oh, yeah. it that way. Yeah, and it will be good with a little battery. You can have a string attached to this. Hello. So, so it will look like it, the TIE Fighters actually fighting into battle. That would be cool, mm -hmm. that would be cool. Okay, yeah. I guess you can say goodbye to Team Jedi now. Bye guys, thanks for watching this review of this awesome stuff. And don't forget to subscribe and hit thumbs up button. Bye, peace out, pizzas. Deuces.